way, Shuruf Hat, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn some quick tips. It's part 2, and let's jump right into the Cinema 4D and let's get started. So first issue is when you have an animated object and you need to move it or rotate it, but you cannot do it because your keyframes are already set. But instead of tweaking on remake all the animation, left click on object mode and hold it for a second and choose the animation mode. With this mode you can easily move your animation and it will remain in all the parameters. Also you can scale your animation, but keep in mind the frame when you start to scale, because it works as an anchor point for the scaling. But with the proper approach you can easily tweak your animation and have a lot of benefits. Moreover, you can rotate your animation, but here we have an issue because our monster facing the wrong direction. And the easiest way is just to place all the elements into null object and rotate it. But when we did it, we instantly see how our animation jumps because the coordinates were changed. And even if we'll create the null object in a world zero coordinates and put everything into it, the result will be the same. So I will create the extra null object and call it rotation. But instead of putting all the elements into it as previously, I will select all the elements I want to place into this null and use the special command names set parent. And now I need to click on rotation null to place all the selected object into it. And as as you can see, with the help of set parent command, our animation will not be messed up. Now I can use my rotation node to control the rotation direction, even make this monster to make a moonwalk. Also notice that we have an apparent command to make opposite actions. Next issue is when you have, for example, rig character and you need to scale it up or scale it down. And even if firstly it's not noticed, you'll have a lot... <laughs> Sorry, it reminds me this. Okay, let's rewind. So firstly, if you even not noticed, you'll see the animation will mess up after you scale it up or down. So now choose the object mode, and you can easily scale your animated object, not worrying you will mess up all the animation. Also, you can combine it with a previous animation tip. For example, here, after scaling down the Morlock, I adjusted the walking speed by scaling it down. Next one is really common. How to randomly rotate objects in a cloner, but on 90 degrees only. You need to add the plane effector, turn off the position, and turn on the rotation and set it on 360. On the planer's field stop, you need to add the random field. In the randoms field remapping, you need to go down to the counter and set the counter mode to step. Now, if you add the steps to 4, you will get your 90 degrees random rotation. The next one is sorting. So here I have a tree's gradation from really dead to very alive. And I want to sort them the way the greens are inside and the deads are outside this square. In the cloner, let's set the cloner's mode to sort. Then let's add the plane effector and turn off the position. Scroll a little lower and then set modify clone to 100%. You can notice how trees are changing. Then add a spherical field. And while I'm scaling it, you can see how our idea becomes alive. Now you can see the clear gradation between healthy green trees inside and dead trees on the edge of the square. We can even adjust the scale a bit to make this gradation difference even more clear. And the last for today is the projection of spline. Sometimes you need to draw the spline and fast project it on the surface. There are several ways to project the spline on the surface. Some of them you can see now on the screens, but it takes time. If you need a fast draft, you can turn on the polygon snapping. And with the snapping on, you can simply draw your spline over the surface and it will automatically snap on it. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more cool stuffs. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuffs, like realistic rain shader pack, six normal surfaces, normal maps in 4K resolution, advanced car rig tutorial that covers suspension leading, automatic wheels rotation, and dynamic trails creation, modular corn, and many more. And if you're my patron, you'll get a lot of extra bonuses and digital products for free, and all the tutorials project files. So be my patron, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is it's very important now. So stand with Ukraine, Virt of the Soul, Tavsebude, Ukraina. And big thanks to my patrons. I appreciate your support.